Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at the Caffeine MC mods for Minecraft Java Edition on version 1.18.2. Those of you who don't know, Caffeine MC is a group that makes performance based mods for Minecraft Java Edition and we're going to take a look at some of these mods. I have done videos on the previous versions of the Caffeine MC mods. The last video I made was for version 1.17.1 and I covered all of the Caffeine MC mods in that video and today I'm going to do a similar video where I'm going to cover those mods for the latest version of Minecraft Java Edition which is version 1.18.2. As you guys can see on my screen on the top left corner there it does say Minecraft 1.18.2 and this is the latest version that I am running at the moment. I am using this on Fabric because all of the Caffeine MC mods are Fabric based. If you guys are looking for the Forge mods some of these mods have been ported across to Forge but I would recommend that you guys only use this with Fabric. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of the Caffeine MC mods on Minecraft Minecraft Java Edition on version 1.18.2. Alright, so the first and important mod that we are going to check out today is actually called Sodium. So let me just go into my mod section and scroll down. So as you guys can see, this is a mod called Sodium. It's made by Jelly Squid, who is part of the Caffeine MC group, and it says Sodium is a free and open source optimization mod for Minecraft which improves frame rates and reduces lag spikes. As you guys can see in my game currently, I am getting more than 1000 FPS. In my vanilla game, I get close to 500 FPS on the medium to low settings. But as you guys can see, I am getting some nice FPS thanks to the Sodium mod. On most modern PCs, the Sodium mod should be able to give you double, if not triple the FPS than what you are getting currently inside your game. Just bear in mind that Sodium may not be compatible with specific hardware. So if you guys do use Sodium and you notice that you're not getting that high FPS or you're not getting getting any FPS performance gains at all, then I would recommend you guys check out another mod called Optifine because chances are that you might have some older hardware and Sodium may not be compatible with some of the older graphics cards or CPUs. For those of you who are running some of the modern based PCs or laptops, then I would recommend you try out Sodium and see if that helps you get better FPS boosts inside your Minecraft Java game on version 1.18.2. If you guys are using Sodium, another mod I would recommend that you guys use with Sodium, which is not actually made by Caffeine MC and this mod is called Sodium Extra. So this mod is not actually made by the original authors of Sodium but this mod actually does complement the Sodium mod. So as you guys can see it says Sodium Extra features that shouldn't be in Sodium. And if I go into my options and click on video settings, normally in Sodium we would see the general section, quality, performance and advanced section. Now Sodium Extra adds some more sections to our video settings. So as you guys can see we've got animations so we can actually go ahead and turn off or on the animations inside our Minecraft game. We can also do the same thing for particles. So as you guys can see, I can either switch off all of the particles or switch off some individual particles inside our Minecraft game. If we go to details, we can also switch off things like the sky, stars, sun and moon, weather, biome colors and sky colors as well. So the choice is up to you. One cool feature in the render section of the Sodium Extra mod is that we can actually play around with this fog setting. So as you guys can see, I'm now going to place this on two chunks. And as you guys can see, I am running a render distance but the fog is actually moved closer and that should also help us get even more performance gains in our Minecraft game. Let me revert that back to six chunks but the option is there so if you guys do like to see fog inside your game you can actually play around with the slider and change it to whatever value you prefer. If we go to the extra section we do actually have some more cool stuff in here. We have a built-in FPS counter which actually shows us some extended features of the FPS as well. We can also go ahead and show coordinates and change the cloud height and enable and disable the toast advancement pop-ups that do appear sometimes and we can also change the sneak to a instant sneak or a normal sneak from here as well. If I click on apply, if I go back inside my game, you guys can see the FPS count on the top left there and it shows the maximum average and minimum FPS that I am getting inside my Minecraft game. So it's a really cool feature. This is all part of the Sodium Extra mod. So if you guys are using Sodium, then definitely get the Sodium Extra mod. If you guys do decide to get the Sodium Extra mod, I would recommend another mod which is called Reese's Sodium Options. So this is actually made by the same person who made the Sodium Extra mod. and this 
basically arranges our video settings in a much more nicer and neater format. If you guys don't use this mod, what you will find is that all of the tabs will be on the top here. And if you guys do use a GUI scale of four or three, for example, then some of the items on the top here will stick out on the side of the screen. So do go ahead and get the Reese's Sodium Options mod. I will leave a link in the description, which will contain links to where you guys can get all of the mods, which I'm going to show you guys today. It's going to arrange all of the video setting items in a much more neater way on the left hand side, as you guys can see. The next Caffeine MC mod that I would recommend you guys check out is called Lithium. So as you guys can see it says Lithium is a free and open source optimization mod for Minecraft which makes a wide range of performance improvements to the game. So if you guys are getting Sodium then definitely get Lithium as well. It's both client side and server side so if you guys are running a server you can upload it to your server and hopefully it can also give you some better performance on your online servers as well as your single player games if you guys are playing your games in single player mode on version 1.18.2. So do go ahead and get the Lithium Lithium mod for Minecraft Java Edition on version 1.18.2. It's made by the same people who made the Sodium mod and you can expect some nice performance with this mod as well. The next Caffeine MC mod I would also recommend you guys check out is called Phosphor. As you guys can see it says Phosphor is a free and open source optimization mod for Minecraft which improves the performance of the lighting engine resulting in significantly reduced world generation times and improved server tick rates. If you guys are going to download Lithium and Sodium then also do you get Phosphor and it is going to complement your mod pack and give you some nice performance inside your Minecraft game on version 1.18.2. There is another mod which you can use instead of Phosphor which is called Starlight. I do know that some of you actually prefer using Starlight compared to Phosphor but if you guys do want to check out another alternative to Phosphor then definitely do check out the Starlight mod as well. I would recommend that you guys try out the combination of Sodium, Lithium and Phosphor and then I would recommend that you guys try out the Starlight mod and see if you do get any performance increases or not. So definitely Definitely do go ahead and check out the Phosphor mod. It's made by the same people who made Sodium and Lithium and it should be a nice addition to any mod pack which you guys might be using. Now there was a fourth mod which Caffeine MC did make and were working on up to version 1.17.1 however they have stopped making that mod and working on it which basically controlled how our RAM is used inside our Minecraft game and it had some nice memory optimization features as well. But unfortunately in version 1.18.2 the Caffeine MC group has stopped production of the hydrogen mod. So if you guys are looking for the hydrogen mod on version 1.18.2 then unfortunately you may not be able to find this. A good alternative to the hydrogen mod on version 1.18.2 is actually called Ferrite Core. So let me go to my mod section. You guys can see that this mod is called Ferrite Core and it says reduces memory usage. So if you guys are running the Caffeine MC mods like Sodium, Lithium and Phosphor then you can go ahead and also check out Ferrite Core which is not made by the Caffeine MC group but it is a good alternative to the hydrogen mod. If you guys are on versions 1.17.1 or lower then definitely do check out the hydrogen mod as well but if you guys are on versions 1.18, 1.18.1 or 1.18.2 then do go ahead and check out the Ferrite Core mod. It should help you out in giving you some better memory optimizations inside your Minecraft Java game. If you guys enjoyed this video please do give us a like. If you guys have any comments or queries about any of the Caffeine MC mods that I have shown you guys today or any of the Jelly Squid mods on version 1.18.2 then do leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to try and help you guys out. If you guys are looking for a mod pack which contains all of the caffeine MC mods alongside even more performance mods do you go ahead and check out my boosted FPS mod pack some of you are already using this but if you guys haven't used this then definitely do check this out I will also leave a link in the description of where you guys can get this it does contain loads of performance based mods and it is pre-configured so all you need to do is just install that and you should get better performance and nicer FPS inside your Minecraft Java game please also do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow and I'll see you guys next time Thank you for watching.